person. How was it preparing for this film, like your serious films like Dream Girls and Church? Uh, you know, I don't do a lot of uh, uh, prep. I kind of like go into it and let it kind of happen. And uh, Rudy Ray Moore was a person I was a fan of, and I knew his work, so, and I had met him, so it was kind of like I had a sense of him going into it. So, so Rudy, Rudy was a, a singer, a dancer. Hey man, is that spray on? Hey. No, that's real. That's real. <laughs> and, and, you, and you also are a, a singer, a, a comic, an actor, and a potential boxer, a boxer analysis. If you wasn't doing what you're doing, like what would be the career you would be doing? Wow. I like Boxing. Well, now I'd be too old to box. <laughs> Actually, no, I would still be fighting. I'd be like, man, you know Eddie Murphy needs to stop fighting. He is 58. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, you guys? I'm with the legendary Tracy Morgan. Tracy, oh, this movie is about someone who was doubted and made, got successful based on a project that he maybe didn't think so. What was something that you thought wouldn't be that big, but it would, popped in pop culture? Or maybe you're like... You're doing it, you fought hard for it, but it was like, it blew up. Uh, I don't know, I guess Brian um, Biscuit, the okay. first character I played in Uptown Comedy Club, yeah. I'm glad he blew up. He was a voice for a generation. Yeah, it sure was. Tracy, thanks so much for taking the Thank time. We appreciate you. Bless. And we're so uh, good to see you that you're doing good. You're my date, the Archbishop John Magic Wong. How, how's it going? Lunell? Girl, I'm, you, you have always been winning, but A Star Is Born, that was a surprise. Coming to America too. now this? Yeah. What, you, girl, what? It's God, oh, this surprise? honey, it's What's God, child, it's God, it's God, it's God. That's all I can say, because I've just been doing the same thing I've been doing all these years. In the same person? In the same person, grinding, trying to take care of my business, and to finally be recognized in such a major way. In that and Vegas I, residency. And my Vegas Let's residency. Let's talk about it. Every Sunday night <laughs> at 10 p.m. at the Jimmy Kimmel Comedy Club, and I'll be on Jimmy Kimmel October 28th. Yes. So I hope y'all tune in and check me out there. And I couldn't be more happy. I must be getting ready. To go, I must be getting ready to go to heaven. All this good stuff. Oh, you're going to heaven, girl. No, ah. God's like, girl. You already all this success and all the people you're inspiring. I just want to say that. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. So and we much. love your pimp coat, girl. Keep Thanks, killing honey. it. We're so proud of you. Thanks, baby. And keep keep the secrets. I love just seeing you pop up in these big that's ass movies. That's right, lobbies. right? I'm I'm the damn pop up I'm like, queen. Is she the cash register? I'm the damn okay. pop up queen. I'm the pop up queen. Yes. You have a. I got a premiere. It just won't end. All right, you're tall. Oh yeah, we got that. What's up, you guys? It's your boy Blair. I'm here with Keegan Michael Key. How's it going? It's going really good. I couldn't be better today. You've been having a good, it's been a good, good, good summer. It's been a good summer. It's been I a mean, good Lion summer. King and now this. Look Lion at that. King, and then Toy Story 4. Uh, we got this going on. Um, taping a movie in December with Meryl Streep and Nicole Kidman. And Icons. John, it's, and you it's, just it's did one with Eddie Murphy? I'm and then Eddie Murphy here. I mean, I'm, oh, that guy. Yeah, that, yeah, guy, that guy too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, okay. it's, been, it's been a good one. Your week. character, I know you have to go in. Your, give us a little um, synopsis of your character real quick. He, his name is Jerry Jones, and he is the writer of the script of Dolomite. So he's like the last guy of the creative team to be brought on. Yeah. So the, the, the rest of the, the crew is all uh, Rudy Ray Moore's friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they have to find someone to write the script. Yeah, yeah. And so they go to find this guy who writes social dramas yeah, yeah. about you know about the, the heroin epidemic and how we need to save our young black men and yeah. they, they think he might be the person so he, he gets recruited to write the script. Now I've always wanted to ask you this question I've been asking a lot of people but Rudy Ray Moore he came up with an idea that you know a lot of people didn't believe in and then it became a huge pop culture phenomenon. Is there something that you did that you were just like I don't know about this? Oh, but oh I, I gotta tell you I never as much as I always enjoyed the substitute teacher sketch from Key and Peele I had no idea. A A Aaron. I had no idea. I had no idea that that was going to be what it turned out to be. Really? We're just like, oh, one day we're like, we got to put one of the sketches online from this episode. Which one should we do? Uh, let's do substitute teacher. Someone just casually said it. And then it, it's it's one of the, it, it created a phenomenon. Everyone plays it now. All the substitute exactly. teachers are playing it. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for taking <laughs> really the time. We appreciate it. the substitute teacher it. world. Yeah. 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 Thank you, man. Of appreciate course. It. Thank you. What's up, you guys? I can't even introduce him. He has to introduce himself. It's the champ, the king. Sugar Ray Leonard. Man, how does it feel to be here tonight celebrating Eddie? And it's kind of like his comeback, too. Well, Ed is my friend, and uh, he's always supported me, and, and it's mutual. There's love there. And uh, especially Dolomite. I mean, come on. Iconic. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was probably 20, maybe, back then. 
but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I heard so much. The reviews were awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to see it. You know, I've always wanted to ask you this question because there's so much, I feel like, politics and boxing now compared to probably back then. Um, and I just want to know from you, the, just the show of it with Floyd Mayweather, not, not in a bad way, but just like, I feel like it's become a lot about money. What do you think about just the sport in general? Do you think... It's, you know, it's, it's, it's all relative. I, I, I think that what, what Florida's done is incredible, amazing, and, and I give him his props. My man can fight. He's, he back up his words. Um, but there, it's going to even get better, and boxing's not dead. Boxing's growing hot, hot. I mean, there's so many stars, young stars out there, future stars out there, and uh, it's my sport. I mean, boxing allowed me to do what I've done for so many years and that's to take care of my family and help others. Well, we appreciate you stopping by. It's okay. an honor meeting you. Thank you, Thank you for making history. Oh, Such an honor to meet you. Likewise. Good. What's up, you guys? It's Blair Thompson with Where's the Buzz. I am here with the talented Titus Burgess. Thanks, How are man. you? I'm brilliant. How are you doing? Doing great. I'm so excited to see you doing shows, movies, music, everything. But I just want to say for this character, tell me just a little bit of insight of what the character is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony is best friends with Rudy Ray Moore. And I was so, uh, Eddie Murphy hand uh, picked me to play this part. Uh, Tony was Rudy Ray Moore's closest co-host. How did that feel to be hand picked by Eddie It felt great, but what was even more was that Eddie gave me the opportunity yeah. to talk about LGBTQ issues without having to talk about them on the screen. We got to see immortalize a relationship between a heterosexual straight black male black. and a gay black male yeah. and that is not a relationship that I see enough of on camera and it's not a relationship that I even feel to this day. Yeah. I don't feel that type of support that we give our heterosexual brothers and sisters and we need to talk more about it and we need more of it. Titus, I would love to see you as like a, a TV host talking about and like BET talking nah. about gay rights. I'm just saying. I'm an I, actor. I'm just saying. I can see you, you spreading awareness. Thanks, Thank you brother. so much. We appreciate you. I appreciate Thank you so you much for opening doors and inspiring gay black boys like me. We, we love you.